What's up, guys? The very game here, and welcome back to another episode of the Prison Architect. And we are almost close to our final intake day at our first prison section of our low security. We're getting 75 prisoners in just under two hours now, and um, we will be at maximum capacity. Um, the thing I do need to do, though, is get all these um, patrols in place um, because. Since we will have no cameras in place just yet, we do need to have um, at least the guards patrolling. I'm trying to get a bit a hold of the sickness, but I'm not going to be able to stop it from spreading um, until it um, it's really got to every prisoner. Um, but the doctors, every night, I'm getting them to go around and pretty much um, just check every prisoner and run up and down all the cells and um, immunize all those guys, but uh, we are pretty much here. We are filled to capacity today. Um, so now I will kill, um, not kill, I'll keep. <laughs> kill and keep are two very different words. Uh, I will keep the prison on fill capacity because for every prisoner that we let go in, um, in like paroles or um, they do their time or whatever, we will um, keep them, keep the prison open uh, so to say, because I want the um, prison to stay at its max uh, maximum size at the moment until um, until further notice, pretty much. Um, deaths today. Was there someone that died straight away? Wait, let's find out where he died. Ah, he was in. Oh, he was in the hospital. Ah, oh, is that why? Why isn't those med? Ah, uh, it's because they all got moved over here. So this guy, technically, I'm supposed to have one in each room so that might be why that guy died sorry all right um actually that that probably does tell me i should get more doctors so let's get um another one in here and in here one is probably enough in these uh areas um so we've got um up to six oh yeah and then we don't have stuff so um i should get another doctor and put him in this one here and he's gonna start immunizing them as well so this guy unfortunately died uh, from an overdose and there was no doctor there to help him that sounds so bad so so bad <laughs> um, yeah so everyone's gonna get infected but it, it's it's the way it is at the moment um, so our incomes now is at 25,000 I don't know how much that's gonna increase or decrease um, but we're sitting at 259,000 I was going to wait till I hit 280 to buy the next plot of land, but what I'm going to do instead, I'm actually going to do the offshore tax haven um, because we do save an extra 3,000 per 10,000 earned. So if we're earning 25,000 a day, you know, that's, um, you're looking at $7,500 a day that we actually could be making on top of what we're already doing just from having this. So... I reckon it will be worth it. It is an investment. It is 50 grand, but you're going to make it back pretty quickly. And then you'll see our income raise even more, which will be perfect. So um, I think that's probably the best best thing to do at the moment. So now we've got two people coming tomorrow and then it's kind of turns into a better sort of prison instead of having these huge influxes of 70, 60 prisoners and all that sort of stuff. And most prisons, you wouldn't get that at a prison, I wouldn't think, um, very often. That'd be a very rare occasion, like kind of like this, where you have new cells open, where, you know, you'd have a pretty consistent flow of X amount of prisoners a day or week or whatever. So um, I'm happy with that. So now we are at max capacity and um, we'll just see how this goes at the moment. Um, I'm a bit worried about this sickness situation. Um, we could get... I feel like the prison is relatively clean. I do have 10 janitors, um, don't I? If I go staff, yeah, I've got 10 janitors. Where if I go these guys, prison labour, I can have 13 here in this one. And their wage would be probably less than a janitor. So... I think, um, but at the same time, if I get rid of the janitors, the janitors are also doing my laundry at the moment, and I I think they probably do a better job than the prisoners, so I don't know if I should have the janitors or not, but it's um, something that's going to have to be thought about for a little while at least. Um, maybe eventually I will get rid of the um, the janitors. What I do want to do, though, is um, I do have these kennels, which I did say... Um, I done. Uh, I always. I don't know which way is front or back with these things, so I'm just gonna do 
that and we'll see um, which one, which way the gate faces and if it's the right way, then, um, then we will um, place all the kennels that we need. If it's, yep, it's the right way. All right, so we'll place all the kennels we need for our doggies in here. Let's do the same thing there. Then let's rotate and do the same thing there and the same thing there. So now there is room for these little dogs in these room in this place. So then um, we can actually have hired Snoop Dogg, so which we might actually eventually put in place. But um, there's not many... Um, I don't know if that's because guards are still um, placing these prisoners, but it seems like we're starting to get a few more guards in place. So we might be uh, a bit understaffed with the guards at the moment. But um, I feel like we're not too bad. I think we're doing all right. So uh, this delivery is an export and all that sort of stuff. They can stay there for now, but eventually we will move them into probably another building. We might even have like a separate building prior to everything where they could kind of have everything. But then the, then you have the problem of like if you have deliveries, everything all the way up here. And then we have all the way, like way, way, way down, like like two times down this way. Super maximum, you're building that way. Everything's going to get delivered there. They have to run up that way, walk down, run up. So it might be best to um, like enable and disable them whilst building. But for like final versions, then yeah, it'd be good maybe having a different sort of area. But we've only got 30 odd prisoners affected by the virus at the moment. We did cure a lot over last night. So hopefully this night will be the final... Um, night of it, I think, um, some of these doctors, like, they're, they're all in their, their rooms in the moment, I, although I don't know where these doctors are, but I think, yeah, see, these doctors, they're already going out, they're the ones that are going around healing a few people, um, which is good, so we'll slowly eradicate this virus, which is fine, um, there's nothing I had in here as a staff room, which I actually didn't put anything in here, so we got, we might as well put... Um, some stuff in here. So I'm thinking let's go put a wide sofa here, um, here and here. Let's put like a drinks machine like here and here. Um, put like a bookshelf here and here. So that is the uh, staff room. So then actually every room is done besides the workshop, which um, we can start looking at doing as well. So yeah, I feel like the prison is finally actually performing well and doing what we want. I, I would like to do all this. It would actually be cool instead of having like, like as I said, like the camera sort of thing, but you could have like a different building that was like a central intelligence building or something that had like a lot of um, rooms for like armory and all that sort of stuff. I don't know. Um, we could maybe develop that in this instead of having these because um i guess the way we can have it if we have it all blocked off with the road passes and that um low security technically can go in between the two prisons so um we could then actually have a better security system on this side but um they're low security so there, there shouldn't be um any issues like again there's no gang members in low security prisons um we don't seem to have um much of a problem. Uh, what we are going to do, though, they are sleeping. We are going to do a shakedown because that's the amount of stuff that we just found in between um, the last episode and this episode, pretty much. So I did a shakedown. Um, I pretty much always do a shakedown like every night now, I try and remember. So like in between last episode and this episode, that's the amount of stuff that we found during the day. So now let's just do the rest of the shakedown. Look at how much stuff there is, though. Like 11 drugs were found. Five scissors... You know, all, the, all those scissors will be coming from bloody over here. The drugs, I don't know where they're getting it, but if you go 24 hours, um, if we look, so poison, this guy found it, stole it from in there. Uh, a lot of these guys, yeah, don't forget, um, we did get a new prisoner, so a lot of these guys did bring in a lot of stuff, I guess. So, um, cell phones traded, all that sort of stuff, traded. Um, found, all that sort of stuff. So, a lot of cell phones. This guy, wow. Okay, so you can see who the bloody sellers of bloody, um, or finders of mobile phones are. Look at that. It's like, who are they trying to contact? This guy, this guy, and this guy. Um, have had so many fucking cell phones. 
<laughs> wow. Uh, that that that's actually impressive um to have that many. And there's still a huge amount of um pretty much uh supply of a few of those things, but it is what it is. So but no look at it. I we we spent that we were at two I can't remember how much we went down, but if we're going through a day, we're earning 24000 a day. It's actually really reasonable how much money we're earning. Um, since we gave ourselves that little bit of um, that time and I let the game run with over a thousand days technically in the game, so it just allows that prison to... Um, to Why am I... Why is that such a random number? Shouldn't be ah oh, because this guy, this guy, um, remove tunnels. That was one of the guys that had the um, mobile phones. I'm pretty sure. If we go logistics and I go last 24 hours, no. Okay, it would make sense if like the one that had like all the mobile phones was like like communicating to make an escape. That would make sense. Um, but that's that's explaining why um, the numbers are. So I was like, it's supposed to be two forty. Um, so now we've um, got the uh, intake that we needed. So, but we've actually lost three prisoners, prisoners, and that kind of threw off the. Uh, unless these are the three, I don't know if um, these are our ones that will make up for that. But anyway, I feel like this low security prison actually has turned out all right. It's um, low security is such an easy 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 um way of running it and when you think about it if we double this if we replicate this on the other side pretty much we're earning 25,000 you know so that guarantee and that, that's not including the tax relief that we're going to get so by doubling this prison size in low security before we move on to medium security it pretty much guarantees 50 grand a day and you know we're, we're gonna have unlimited funds it's, this is gonna be a big prison um you know i'm gonna make up for it because the last four seasons like we've had prison ideas we've had things but we've either expanded too much to that point that my old computer the imac couldn't handle it and um you know um and pretty much we'd have to restart again so this time i'm gonna see how much i can push the game and see how many entities we can like in the end if we get it so we end up only having two low securities and two mediums and then it gets to the point that the game is starting to struggle then that's our limit but you know um then we'll just say this prison this series is focused on low and medium security and the next season will go straight into max and super max um but i'm hoping that i can fit everything in this one map um the thing that will uh help probably is if we push towards more cctv and servos and all that and means that we can reduce like we've got 60 guards so that's 60 60 entities i'm relying on if you can remove them and you know a guard might you know that does cctv that can cycle you know through a few channels it's like well shit you know you know you might you might be able we might be able to cut the amount of guard entities in half just by using CCTV. So it's um something to think about. But um I think next episode um I'm gonna look at purchasing that next set of land. I'm probably gonna try and wait until the offshore tax haven is done. Um earn a bit more money, probably get up to back up to three hundred before buying it. Um and then get on with um building and planning pretty much exactly what we have here, I think. I think that might be the best start. Uh, that we can do, and so we just up our income to um, to fifty thousand, pretty much, and um, then from there we can look at going straight into medium security, and then that's when we're going to start dealing with gangs. And obviously, every time we expand, this gets increased by a hundred um, by forty grand. So when we expand here to then do this section, um, you know, and we might have to do, well, depending how close we have them, I guess, um, we can have it, like, right next door, like, um, yeah, like, uh, it's going to be 160 to go down, so that's where you do need that 50 grand a day, because, you know, three days, you pretty much have your uh, income to buy that land expansion, so, um, yeah, there's nothing much more, really, we can do in this episode, the, oh, actually, what we can do, we'll check for starters, Okay, these are all the ones that are, had their taser training. So we've almost got uh, programs. We've almost got all our guards. We've got pretty much half our guard. 
um, done. Um, I would like to, you yeah, see, now we're sitting at around 22. So I don't know how like, how the income really works with this game sometimes. I feel like over time it goes down if you haven't done anything. So, um, But I think it depends on, there's a lot of factors that take in place. But uh, what I do want to do is start looking into some other programs to add. So we've got, We've got a few programs when you think about it. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got five running at the moment out of a max of, you know, out of 11 programs we can run, we're running five. So, um, but we can't do the Carpentry Apprentice um, yet. But what we can start looking at doing is do the workshop induction. Um, and we can probably start looking at the foundation. Um, this brings inmates to that level. Passing allows prisoners to work in the library. But I already have... Ah, oh, do I have... I thought... Intel... I thought I had people working in there. Do I not... I've got people listed as working, but maybe they don't... Maybe it doesn't... Um... Yeah, because I know people are stealing from there, but maybe in work times they're not actually working in there. That might be, I thought they were, but they might not be. But um, all right, we'll um, we'll start the foundation class, um, and get a few going because, and you know what? At the same time, we will activate that grant because we've got a few grants still available. So we'll do the reform through education. This gives us fifteen grants straight away, forty when they complete. Um, have ten prisoners pass the foundation course and have one prisoner pass the general education course so that is something that I wouldn't mind pushing towards um, we can eventually do that um, I'll eventually do that that's not too too bad but um yeah that's something that we can God all these people just found with with drugs God so now yeah it's night time so yeah with sleep so um, we are going to do another shakedown as always at night time it is the best time to do it and get all this crap out of the prison they always find something they're always able to get something I don't know how they really I don't really know how you sneak in some of these things and really you have to do it for tunnels if you don't do it the, 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 these prisoners are just gonna escape we've had one escape before but um it's uh I swear, there used to be a way of finding your, like, seeing, um, there's a screen, I can't remember, oh, wait, is it up here, graphs, prison, prison grading, there we go, that's how we go, so what, what is our grade, so we've had 39 prisoners released, it's 41% reoffend rate, that's pretty shit, isn't it, um, punishment is six, they say. Um, reform is zero. Security is three. Health is minus three. So health needs to go. But that's because, probably because we've had um, parole early reoffended one. Prisoner escapes one. Death in custody one. So maybe we will lower our parole cutoff. So if a prisoner has. A reoffending rate less than this value, they will be released at the end. Okay, so that's pretty lenient cutoff at thirty percent. So I'm actually going to cut it right back and go ten percent chance. You could be like zero, like zero chance, but like I think all of them will have some sort of rating. Um, but yeah, by doing that, it will um it'll land. Oh, and we've got the graphs as well. So um. I don't, I have never used this section, um, graph, number of prisoners, ah, oh, you can kind of check things, health grading, all that sort of stuff, prison value, security grading, all that sort of stuff, alright, so, by day, cool, alright, so, I don't know, ah, oh, yeah, because we've had so many days, it's zero, and now it's just starting to do it, so, It'll take a while for the actually see the proper graph because this is actually because really we've only had prisoners for really a few in-game days because um, we did like a thousand days with no prisoners so that's going to screw up the graphs but anyway that's going to be it for this episode so in between this one and the next one i'm going to try and get our money up to at least um uh what are we looking at at least 300 grand um so uh we can buy that land i'll buy that off camera maybe save up a little bit more money as well we've got plenty um even not even save our money um we probably can just jump straight into um 
planning and doing all, like pretty much doing all the um, all this part again on this side, and then we can start building as well. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. So as usual, thank you all for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So see you later, guys.